Hello and welcome back to another video from Engineeringly. In today's video, we will discuss this template for project monthly report, which will help you to track your budget, the percentage completed of the whole project or sprint in the project. And besides that, you will have an overview of the total number of risks in the sprint or project, and you will have the total tasks, the number of completed tasks, and the number of tasks remaining. If you make any type of updates to the start and end date, the percentage completed, and the percentage budget spent, they will be represented dynamically in this report. For example, let's assume the end date for activity number 1 will be 3rd of July 2022. So I'll write down 7-3-2022. As you can see, the Gantt chart in here will be updated. And for example, let's make this one 19th of July 2022. So I'll click this one and in the function bar here I'll write down 7 19 2022. As you can see the Gantt chart will be updated. Besides that we have the traffic light signals in here which shows the percentage completed of each project. If the percentage completed is above 75%, it will be shown in green. For example, let's make this 80%. If it's below 75%, for example, 70%, it will be shown in yellow. And if it's below 50%, for example, 45%, it will be shown in red. Besides that, for example, let's make the percentage of budget spent in here 90%. As you can see, the data bars in here will be updated as well. In the meantime, if I make the percentage completed of a number of activities 100, as you can see, the number of activities completed will be shown in here. Besides that, the remaining activities and the total tasks are shown in here as well. So let's go through the step-by-step -step process and let me show you how to prepare a dynamic project monthly report like this. So as you can see in here, we have the activity names, the start and end dates, the percentage completed, the percentage budget spent, and the risks in each activity. There is nothing special about this as this is normal data everyone could enter into Microsoft Excel. The first thing that we are going to do is to calculate the total number of tasks in here. So in the cell in front of total tasks, I'll write down equal sign, I'll write down count, open parenthesis, and I'll count the total number of tasks in here. I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. For the completed tasks, as you know, if a task is 100%, it will mean that the task is considered completed. So I'll write down equal sign, count F, open parenthesis, I'll select the range in here, comma, the criteria will be if the number is 100% or 1. So I'll write down 100%. I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. As you can see, only one activity is 100%, so it shows 1 in here. If I make this 100% as well, this will be 2. The number of remaining tasks will be the total tasks minus completed tasks. So I'll write on equal sign this value minus this value. For the total risks, I'll write down equal sign sum of the risks in these cells. I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. So this part is done. For example, if I make any of the activities 100%, it will be automatically added to the 100% and will be deducted from the remaining activities. In the meantime, for example, let's add two risks in here. The total number of risks will be updated as well. Next thing is the Gantt chart. To prepare the dynamic Gantt chart, I will use the if and and functions. I'll write down equal sign if open parenthesis and since we are going to use two different conditions the value in this cell I will lock the number of row since we are going to drag this down so the number of rows shouldn't move down I'll write down a dollar sign before the number of the row if the value in this cell is greater or equal to the value in the start date for the start date I'll lock the column since we are going to drag it to the right here so the column name should not change. So in here, I'll write down a dollar sign. I'll put a comma in here. The next condition will be if the value in this cell, again, lock the row number, is smaller or equal to the end date. In here, we will lock the 
column. I'll close the parenthesis, comma, if the value is true, then in quotes, write down x, and if the value is false, then leave that blank. I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. Now, I'll drag it down here and to the right till the end of the project. In the last section here, I had copied the dates up to 1st of August, so I had to write down the dates up to 10th of August and drag the formula to the right here that it applies in here as well. Next thing is to select the Gantt chart area and go to conditional formatting. From here, we'll click highlight cells rules and we'll click equal to. If the value in the cells is X, then we will apply a specific type of formatting on that. The font color, for example, will be in gray and for the fill, we will select the same type gray and then we'll click OK. Click OK, the Gantt chart will be prepared in here. Next thing is to add the traffic light signals in here. Go to conditional formatting, I'll go to icon sets, from here I'll go to more rules. And the three types of lights are selected by default, so I'll leave it as they are. I'll only change the values and types in here. The type is percentage, so the value when it's bigger or equal to 75%, it should be shown in green. If it's equal or greater than 50%, it should be shown in yellow, and below 50% will be shown in red as you can see in here. Since I only want to see the icons and not the numbers in there, so I'll check this part and click OK. So now, for example, if I make this one 75%, it will be shown in this color. If I make it a value greater than 75%, for example, let's make it 90%, it will be shown in green. If I make this, for example, 15%, it will be shown in red. For the budget spend, again, we will go to conditional formatting, we'll go to data bars, from here we'll select more rules, and for the data bars, we'll show only the data bars, and we'll not show the numbers, from the type you will select number, the minimum number will be zero, the maximum number in here will be one or a hundred percent. From here, we can pick a different color, for example, this one. Now click OK. So if I make the budget, for example, 50%, as you can see, the data bars will be updated. Let's make this a hundred percent. So this is how you can prepare a dynamic report of your project. This could be used for different sprints in an agile project or could be used for a waterfall project. I hope our content are helping you with your daily work related to project management. If we are helpful, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.